Welcome back to some more Adventure Quest news, guys. My name is Corey. We are going to go over the news today. We have a lot of news. <laughs> Alright, um, all those tabs. You can't really see the tabs. I'm not going to try to show you the tabs, but I have so many tabs open all at once. We're going to go through the news, including how to get the Arch uh, Paladin class coming out tomorrow. It's coming out tomorrow. It's not out right now. Everyone else is asking on stream, is it out right now? No, it's not out right now, but we know how to get it, and we've known how to get it since this morning, and actually since this morning, they've actually changed the requirements of the class, so luckily I didn't make this uh, video yesterday. So let's get into the video. I'll try to go through this fast because there's so much news. Hey guys, it's Scarce here, and our first news story today is something super awesome. Um, I don't know what a Scarce impression is. Um, so, uh, how to unlock the Archfiend class, or not Arch, Archfiend? Yeah, I already call it Archfiend. Arch Paladin. Uh, you have to be a member. I, did I just say that? That's wrong. What I just said was wrong. You don't have to be a member. It's not member only. The class is not member only. People were very confused. You have to complete one, one of these bullet points. So you either have to have a member version of Paladin class. I don't know why they specific, uh, make it specific to member version of Paladin class, considering there is no non-member version of the Paladin class. So you have to have the Paladin class and complete quest chain or complete the Arch Paladin training quest lines if you're a non-member. Or you can just buy it for 2,000 adventure coins, of course, like every other class. Uh, so the difference between these two quest lines are uh, the member version is five quests, uh, and then you're doing seven quests, uh, or no, eight quests, I think, if you are a non-member. So you're doing more quests if you're a non-member. I'm not sure if they're the same quest line, but you just have to do a few more if you're a non-member. Um, but if you already have the Paladin class, and you don't have to farm for the Paladin class, like I would have to do if I, if I wanted to use the Paladin class, then you should be fine, and it should be a lot faster to do the member version of just the five quests. But if you don't have the Paladin class and you're a member, uh, it might actually be faster to do the eight uh, non-member quests that non-members can do. So, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow which way is faster, but that's just a little heads up that if you want to get Paladin class, you can get it faster. Actually, oh, I think I know the difference between uh, the member and non-member version of Paladin class. You might be able to buy Paladin for ACs. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But next little thing of news is... Um, if you have both Paladin class and the new Paladin class tomorrow, uh, you can do uh, this quest. I don't know if this quest unlocks anything, but it says you need one class point in Paladin and one uh, one rank in Exalted Paladin Seal. I don't know how you get the ex oh you get the Exalted Paladin Seal um, by being rank ten in the rep. So this might unlock something. I don't know. Maybe it's just a quest. I don't I don't know. But just a little bit of news there. We'll quickly go over that so right now currently if you have not logged into adventure quest worlds lately since last friday which some people only play on the release day and i make this video before release day to update everyone on what's coming out on release day or what's already out so uh all these servers are testing servers currently uh at the time you're watching this video maybe not on friday it isn't tomorrow but if you're watching this video uh near the time it's uploaded these are all testing servers so you can test and get extra uh, rep I actually think there is an extra rep on there because I was playing on there and it didn't seem much faster. So I don't I don't know if it actually is live or maybe it's bugged out. So they tell you something like it's 0 0.99 live testing and the full launch will be soon, I guess. I don't know. And they go over why they need it. I've already explained this in other videos. No need to explain it. You can still get your test mission sprockets if you want the 0 AC server bank pet. That's still available to uh, farm for. I would highly recommend you get the 150 sprockets you need. Uh, they drop by just doing quests. I have a guide, so if you want to search how to get free AC bank pet uh, in AQW on YouTube, uh, that will pop up real quick, and you can uh, watch my video guide on how to do so. A change that is live right now uh, that they did for the 8th birthday, I guess. Uh, they changed a lot of items, uh, including Nolgath items, the Legion tokens, uh... Uh, like the Legion Titan armor and the whole set for Legion Titan actually so if you look here here's the list I'll scroll through it slowly if you want to look you might see something that you have in your inventory these items were currently or where yesterday they weren't AC items today they are and they're gonna stay AC items they're all free AC items now you can still earn them none of them went rare or anything actually some of these items are rare but um, but they're now uh, AC, so you can store them in your bank for free. That's why they're AC. So if you've had an item in your bank that you work really hard for but did, just didn't want to delete, uh, you can now 
uh, stored in your bank and you don't have to worry about having to delete it. I saw some people in the stream said they deleted like really hard items to get uh, like a few days ago before this was a thing. And they also changed it so these aren't temporary items anymore which is good so you don't have to defeat the Mac guys every time you want to go to Null Gap now. So very very interesting stuff there. All right. Here is the event that's coming out tomorrow. The part two finale for Throne of Darkness is the birthday event. So uh, you can battle through the Th Throne of Darkness saga. You can already do most of that. The last uh, Throne of Darkness quest line will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, the Secret Underground Lab will have a new birthday rare, a Zero AC pet uh, from the server hamster. Uh, that's not a new location or anything. You can go to Underground Lab right now, uh, but there'll be a new Zero AC pet tomorrow. Um, the battle con, uh, they might add something to battle con. I don't know. I think that's always open. I don't know. Uh, ultra brutal corn will be out. Uh, I think you can get the helmet from him. The class will be out tomorrow, of course. Uh, the finale. I've already said that. The Graveland Doomfire set. I'll have more on this later in the news episode. That's a few tabs over from this one. Uh, also the seven year membership and 400,000, uh, adventure coins that is coming out and the eight years players can go to the next nostalgia quest zone i'm talking too fast all right <laughs> jesus christ okay so if you want to win i these prizes honestly i'm just i just put this in this to call them out on how pitiful their prizes are um so there's a pumpkin carbon contest they do contests all the time in adventure quest uh but particularly this i don't know how long i've never on a, here's a little thing about me i've never actually carved a pumpkin in my life I don't know how hard it is, but judging by the artwork done on these pumpkins they show in this picture, it looks like it would take you a, a great deal of time. And the best prize is $10. Uh, it doesn't cost them any money to give you ACs. Like, it's not costing them money. I mean, they might be losing a little money giving you ACs, but not really because you spend a lot of time working on a pumpkin based off the Artix Entertainment uh, art and stuff. So, uh, the best prize is $10. I don't think that's a good first place prize second one is five dollars and that's like not even a dollar uh that's like half that's like 50 cents uh so i i it, i think i don't know what a pumpkin costs like i probably in canada it's like five bucks or ten bucks for a pumpkin i don't know how much a pumpkin costs when i bought one uh but i'm pretty sure if you wanted uh 2018 you could just spend ten dollars on it maybe take that uh two dollars or five dollars whatever a pumpkin costs and just save another five dollars and buy 2000 ACs instead of entering this contest. I think those prizes are silly. They, I think a better prize would be like a, uh, a one-off or a very rare, or an item just for contest winners, or like a pumpkin themed item just for contest winners. That would be a much cooler prize than any ACs or anything like that. But if you want to enter the contest, go for it. I just thought I'd call them out on how, how uh, mediocre their prizes were. All right, so Visual Quest 3D is going into open beta. Uh, is, I don't know if this is confirmation, because they say it's kind of, but it says it begins next Tuesday. Next Tuesday is the 18th, so uh, open beta is going live on the 18th. If you haven't got into AQ3D and you want to try it out, uh, do not spend any money on AQ3D until they change their microtransactions, uh, because currently they're not the... Uh, not the best microtransaction model in that game. Don't please don't support that microtransaction model. I want it to change, so I'm campaigning. Hopefully they'll change it one day. Um, don't buy anything in AQ3D. Thank, thank you, thank you for doing that. Um, Graveland's Doomfire set. I honestly don't think the set looks that great. Um, maybe if you have some other Graveland items. I don't know if there's any weapons that come with the set. Uh, but you'll have a shortcut if you have the narcotic sword. Narcotic, no, neurotic. Eh. I can't say that word, but if you have that sword. Or the uh, the Doom Knight armor, uh, you get a shortcut. Uh, rank 10 evil rep in level 45 is required, and you gotta complete the uh, saga to get the armor. So uh, it'll be a farming quest, of course, once you're rank 10 and once you're level 45, and you complete the saga. So that'll be an armor you can get for completing the Throne of Darkness saga. Our last little story today, I thought I'd leave on something cute and something that I'm really looking forward to. This is coming out tomorrow. So, a 64 scoop ultra ice cream cone surprise. I put this in other news videos. I just really like it and I really can't wait to have it in my inventory. Uh, this will be available tomorrow for, uh, I'm guessing, ACs in the rare shop. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed. I enjoyed making it, going over all that news. If you learned something, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't like the video at all, just leave a dislike. It's I appreciate you leaving a dislike, honestly. Um, comment down below what you're most excited for. I honestly want I honestly want the comment. It's not just to help the search engine or anything. I honestly want to see what you guys are excited for tomorrow in the uh, 
in the event what are my okay i'm besides the class uh, uh this is probably what i'm most excited for but we haven't seen any of the other rares like this is the only rare they've shown us so tell me what you're excited for i'm guessing most people are excited for the class but if there's anything else you're excited for leave that as a comment down below and i'll see you guys all in the next video peace if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow all my social media links in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, I stream on Twitch sometimes, I post all the videos to Facebook, and Twitter is where I talk about dumb shit and also post videos and tell you when I'm streaming there. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, click the top right corner for the last video I uploaded. Bye.